Y'all, it is the day after Christmas, and it is about 70 degrees out here in East Tennessee. I don't know what the hell's going on, but I like it. <laughs> I really don't miss the snow back in Maine. I, of course, I miss it occasionally, but man, this is a little weird. How's it going, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning into this video, and today we are going to be talking about something that is unfortunately a reoccurring thing with six fives, and it's really unfortunate when it happens. It, and uh, I've gotten a bunch of questions as far as is there anything I can do to prevent it? You know, what are what are some signs to look out for and stuff like that? So today we are going to be talking about main web cracking. So what is main web cracking? Well, it has to do with your engine block itself. It is not something you can that you can just put, you know, a little scope down the bore or anything like that to see. The only time you're really going to see whether you have a main web crack is when you remove the motor and drop the oil pan. You can rotate the crank over to check out all of the main webs. So you have your main cap that holds the crank in place inside of uh, these bearings here. And then on the other side of that you have your main web and that is casted into the block. So when somebody is talking about a main web crack, basically what has happened is you have a crack that is running length of your you know main bolt or a stud or whatever you have holding your main cap down so unfortunately my 929 block you can see there's a there's a crack right here and it does go down a little ways but this one is worse you can see that crack right there. Now, the crack is only on this side and it doesn't yet, I don't believe, yeah, it doesn't yet peter over into the uh, outside bolt for your main cap. But what's gonna happen is that crack is going to further its travel, whether it gets onto the bolt or it goes all the way around the main cat, or I'm sorry, the main web, and your crank is going to eventually get destroyed. So why do main web cracks occur? There's a few um, contributing factors to this. It's not just based off one thing, but the main things that deal with main web cracks are metal composition, the actual metal that the block is casted out of um, engine harmonics via the, the crankshaft being balanced and you know the uh, the crankshaft pulley going bad stuff like that and heat cycles you know if you live in a colder climate uh, or a climate that really goes the spectrum as far as you see like 90 degrees in the summertime and then it gets really really cold in the winter time you know just anything to put stress on your engine block itself so let's talk about metal composition or metal urgy if i'm saying that right uh, as far as these six five blocks go often you'll find people when they are building an engine to look for specific blocks uh, you can reference my blocks video i hope that helps some of y'all out in identifying which block you have but some blocks are more desirable than others and you'll often hear people taking six two blocks and boring them out to a six five and making them a six five because they are a stronger casted block uh, weak metal will cause main web cracking it's just unfortunate and there's absolutely nothing you can do to prevent it if the metal is wanting to crack then it's going to crack whether it be weak metal or um 
engine harmonics or you know heat cycles so on and so forth so as far as finding you know that holy grail block i if i were you i would do your research and find out which block best suits your needs as far as if you want to just keep it stock or if you want to go balls to the wall with a build mind you a 6.5 isn't meant for 600 horsepower so it's not going to achieve those higher horsepower numbers and you need to take into consideration how far exactly you want to go with this before you call it quits as far as building an engine they do suffer from you know the main web cracks the uh crankshaft crack or crankshaft breaks you know it's you gotta weigh your options so let's talk about heat cycles and you know the the climate in which you live in does affect you know the overall health and longevity of your engine but it's not the only thing if you are not watching your temperatures or if you are you know putting gobs of fuel to it that can cause stresses on the motor and heat can really do some damage for example if you are having overheating issues it is important to address those before they come a bigger issue uh, taking the first steps in upgrading the cooling system will help the overall life of not only just your engine components but mainly your block granted you may have the garbage block or whatever you want to call it all of the blocks have their issues and you know some some are worse than others but taking care of it will help improve the longevity no matter what block you have so let's talk about engine harmonics and this is a very crucial thing for the six fives the cranks can be very weak and we all know that the fluid dampener or the harmonic balancer on the front of the six fives from factory are very problematic uh, if you don't keep your eye on them they can go out of balance making harmonic changes on your crankshaft and eventually bust your crankshaft or you know cause microscopic vibrations and destroy the metal or crack it in the event of you know imbalance so i'm gonna get asked uh is there any way i can tell that my block is cracked before i pull it not really uh especially if you are in the pickup application or the suv application the only way to figure out if your engine is experiencing uh, main web cracking is unfortunately to pull the oil pan and visually look at the main webs checking to see if they are cracked or not um, there I guess you could use a scope if you wanted to poke a hole in the oil pan to see if it was good or not but then at that point you're replacing the oil pan anyways so eh, not really worth it so say somebody just bought a brand new 6.5 block and they wanted to ensure that, you know, they have the best chance of not letting it crack. Is there anything that they can do? In my opinion, uh, there are a couple things that you can do. You can make sure that your rotating assembly is balanced, such as your crank with your pistons and your harmonic balancer and a um, well get rid of the harmonic balancer from factory and just go with a fluid dampener and a billet pulley um, but as as far as going the extra step in order to prevent the main web crackings from happening there are aftermarket companies that do make main stud girdles for the 6.5 block basically what they're doing is they're taking angle iron and going from one main cap to the other and reinforcing your main cap ensure trying to ensure that you know nothing's moving microscopically they are all you know attached together because you got to think 
this amount of overhang that's probably about two inches two and a half inches that is not being reinforced by any sort of uh, extra amount of block or girdle or anything like that so there are those aftermarket companies making the main stud girdle in order to reinforce the main caps and from my research and my understanding is that they do work but there's not a whole lot of information on them because you have to test it, of course, and then you have to reevaluate whether it worked or not. And from what I've under, or from what I've seen, there hasn't been a whole lot of reevaluation whether it has worked or not. So, if anybody can give me and everybody else watching this video any sort of feedback on those angle iron main stud girdle kits, please leave it in the comments below. Help everybody out. There's also the element to consider of picking the right block of course now everybody's gonna have their own opinion which block is best but i have seen literally all of them crack besides the p400 block if you don't know about the p400 block um definitely go watch some videos on the p400 block basically what the p400 65 turbo diesel block does it is it it's already casted onto the block that the there is a main stud girdle that is about two and a half to three inches that is already made onto the block basically what the angle iron uh girdle is trying to do is reinforce the main caps the P400 block is already equipped with the main stud girdle to reinforce the main caps. Reinforcing it makes it stronger, of course, so you lower your chances of cracking. Now, I know I'm going to get some comments uh, down below. Well, I, I bought this optimizer block and it's supposed to be good. The optimizer block is good. I have nothing against all the other blocks. Um, you know, they all can be good. Yeah, some are weaker than others, and some of them you have to maintain. But realistically, the average 6'5 owner is running around with a cracked block and doesn't even know it. <laughs> so, whether, you know, you want to go P400 and spend high dollar coin or go with an optimizer that's supposed to be better is completely up to you but i have seen optimizer blocks crack i've seen 506 blocks i've seen 141 blocks and 929 blocks all crack it is very unfortunate there are things you can do to help prevent and prolong the life of your engine but ultimately cracks are inevitable and impossible to avoid now say you are somebody who just tore their motor down and you notice that the block is cracked but you're concerned about reusing it or you're concerned about you know how much how much longer is it going to be till it falls apart and like i said earlier nine times out of ten i meet people who you know i'm working on their truck or whatever and i've asked you know have, have you checked the bottom end of this thing have has it been gone through or anything like that or you know have has anybody ever been into the bottom end to notice if they have main web cracking and this is referring to their question of do you think it's a good block to use I asked that question to understand, you know, is it going to be a healthy block in order to go higher horsepower or just keep it stock? Well, again, you know, the average person hasn't torn into their motor. They just run it and run it every day and use it for what they're using it for. Are you gonna notice a main web crack until it's too late? No, you're not. Um, unfortunately, the only times that you notice whether you have main web cracks or not is one, when you tear apart the motor, 
or unfortunately it flies apart. It's a very unfortunate thing and you know that it's another one of those things that left a bad taste in a lot of previous 6.5 owners mouths and they swear that they will never come back to them. You know these trucks have been on the road for 20 years or so uh, even longer and you know it, some of them are still the man, the original manufacturer's block. Uh, there are a bunch of them out there that have be a, a good rich motors in them now from replacing them and stuff like that you know weigh your options now as far as rebuilding a cracked block do i recommend it no but what are your intentions with the engine so are you going for high horsepower or are you going back stock in all honesty and you need to think about it if you pulled your engine and you found out it was cracked, well, obviously that engine was running fine and you just wanted to rebuild it or, you know, if, say the engine was low on compression, you were just doing a rebuild. Do I think that that motor would be fine in stock application? I think so. Do I think it's going to hold up to higher horsepowers? No, obviously not. It's going to continue cracking. Um, are there certain things that you can do to fix the cracking? I have researched this company called Lock and & Stitch. And they are a great company. They, they fix engine blocks. Basically what they'll do is they take an inverted um, helicoil and they basically repair the hole you know there are two different uh size bolts on some of the engine on the six five blocks um i believe it's a 12 and a 10 mil uh the the smaller one will be on the outside if you do have the two small uh two different size ones but there are blocks that also have the same size uh bolts for the yeah see right right here they are both the same size bolts. Yeah, one is longer, but the longer one obviously is compensating for the raised edge of this main cap, but they are both the same size bolts. There are blocks, these are the 12s. Um, there are blocks with a little 10 mil bolt on the outside, and that's the one that people claim are the stronger ones because obviously there's more material there on the main cap. Basically what they would do is they would take the inverted uh, helicoil and neck it down to a 10 mil bolt and the inverted part of the helicoil will bring the metal together and bond it so it is stronger. Now that doesn't get rid of the crack per se, but does it make it stronger than just having a crack? Yes. Um, I have nothing against that company and I think they do great jobs on engine blocks. But you gotta weigh the options of, do you spend more money on a factory block or is it more beneficial for you to go with a new block? And that is what I tried to tell everybody it is. You have to weigh your options with everything you do. Is it beneficial for you to keep a 6.5 or swap it? Is it beneficial for you to fix your cracked block or go with a new one? Is it beneficial to send your injection pump out to be rebuilt or buy a remanufactured one already? Weigh your options, weigh the prices, and do your research. But Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this helps you uh, view my little bit of insight as far as main web cracking. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. And as always, we will catch you in the next one, Legends. Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year. <laughs> So I want to hear y'all's engine block cracking stories. It doesn't have to be main web cracks, but you know, 
Share them down in the comments below. Let everybody know about some issues that you maybe have run into, stuff like that. But I will catch you legends in the next one.